this is me Storm Zero and in this video I'll discuss how we can save our data while using Zoom. Zoom is a video conferencing app, so it is natural for the data consumption to be high. But how high is it? Let's, let me show you with an example. Now if a person plays CSGO for an hour and another person uses Zoom for the same period of time, the person using Zoom will have a higher data consumption. You can understand how high this is. So this makes data saving more useful in this case. Anyway, let's move on to the stats. The first case will be when the host has a good connection. Keep in mind that all the stats are based on the assumption that you have a good internet connection. So while viewing on a normal screen, which is a regular zoom screen, your net speed is around 250 to 310 kbps. This value goes down significantly to 80 to 95 kbps when we minimize the window and further goes down to 32 to 50 kbps when you choose to hide the host's video. When you minimize and hide the video, it will look something like this. And when you just minimize the video, it will look something like this. The second case is when the host has a bad internet connection. While viewing on the normal screen, the net speed is around 35 to 60 kbps. There is no need to minimize the video as the net consumption is already low. In the rare time when your host has an extremely bad condition, speeds will fall down to 25 to 40 kbps and even lower. The host will have extremely bad condition when the video is stuck at one point for a long time or when they start speaking in a robotic voice. The third case is when the host has a medium internet connection. As this case is a very rare one, I don't have the exact stats on the net speed, but I'm assuming it to be 100 to 200 kbps while viewing it on a normal screen. Now when should you minimize your video? You should only minimize your video when your host uses the audio more, for example for explanations and stuff. This is because when you are minimizing your screen, you are actually hiding your video or diminishing the video. Uh, some hosts prefer to write the explanation on a board and this is for school teachers, I, this is for the schools. So what they prefer to do is they, write, they show it through the, through the video and they write it on the board. So what happens since the video is diminished and you can't see the video, you will not know what the other person is what the other person is trying to say. Suppose you're viewing Zoom at a normal screen. Then your host decides to screen to so share his or her screen. Now what happens is that when the host shares his screen, your internet connection, your internet speed will actually go down. So it'll go down from 250 to 310 kbps to around 70 to 100 kbps. So this is the unique fact about screen sharing that screen sharing actually takes less resources than the normal view. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and please comment down below in the comment section to help me to help me improve my videos. Until next time this is me Storm Zero signing out.